he might come back so i'm gonna try and just camp this out i'm gonna wait for a little while and if he doesn't show up i'm just gonna head over to this fort there might be some people Ooh. i heard someone yell oh he came back he came back so i think my plan is to basically just go to this fort kind of camp it out and see if marauders end up trying to siege the fort and then i can just pull up and then hopefully get some kills but yeah this is gonna be my first time actually doing pvp seriously i have like a very tiny bit of pvp experience which is basically just me going out doing pvp faction quests and then just getting absolutely obliterated by like groups of threes or fours i literally die every time i try to do pvp missions and it's like the most annoying thing so for my weapons i plan on going in with a sword and shield with a great axe and i also wanted to test out the spear because i know that's actually really good for pvp as you can see here oh my god there's a level 60 he just teleported. I have no idea where he went. He just said, what's up? What the heck? He just fought on the mic? What the heck? Hold up. What's up, my guy? What's up, my guy? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, Toasty Cheese. Let's go kill some marauders. You down? Yo, can you hear me? Yo, what's up, my guy? Yo, what's up, my guy? Let's go. Let's go do some PvP. I totally forgot to show you guys my attributes that I'm running on my weapons. For my sword and shield abilities, I'm running leaping strike, shield bash, and shield rush. And for sword master attributes, I'm running empowered stab, precision, final strike, and cowardly punishment that's for leaping strike i basically have cowardly strike mainly for this sword right here as you can see right there empowering leaping strike deal 9.8 percent additional damage to targets slowed by leaping strikes cowardly punishment upgrade so yeah, that's why i'm running that um hopefully that does give me some extra dps that'd be great and for my defender attributes i'm running intimidating bash that's for shield bash i'm running final blow and then i'm running improved rush along with intimidating rush so basically i plan on giving my opponent some slows also with some knockdowns with this and also eventually when i do use my spear i also have some knockdowns on there which i'll show you right here so for my spear i'm running javelin and then i'm also running a forceful impact and that'll knock down my opponent when i throw my spear at them and i'm also running sweep this also knocks down targets and then i'm running a tenacious sweep along with merciless strength and then for my impaler attribute i have one refreshing jabs and then finally for my great axe, I'm running the abilities charge, reap, and execute. For my attributes, I'm running the collector, which gives me 8 more meters for reap. And I'm also running hunger, which will heal me for 30% of damage done by reap. And I'm also running unstoppable greed for execute, which basically just makes me invincible while I'm using that ability. So yeah, anyways, let's get back to it. I think what I'm going to try to do... Because I know there's usually people here, and someone might have PvP enabled, so I'm gonna go back to this. Alright, so I'm back at the shrine. PvP protection enabled. Oh, I found an enemy. Oh my god. He's level 28, I'm level 26, I don't know if we can take him. Here we go. Alright, I, I can't lose this guy, I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Alright, I'm gonna try and sneak up on him. I'm pretty sure you can see me like this though. Alright, sneaky sneaky. Sneak up on this dude. Alright, we gotta go, we gotta go. I don't think he knows I'm coming. Trap me. Oh. 
I should have eat. I should have ate. <laughs> oh my god, he just executed me. Alright, that was actually like my first PvP experience, like 1v1 like that, so. Oh, my heart is racing, jeez. <laughs> I kind of just spammed everything, just panicked. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my great axe for my spear. Also, I did not eat, so I'm gonna eat right now. I'm also gonna eat this meat right here, which gives me a, a small buff, but I mean, it'll definitely help me. Alright, question is, is he still over here? Dang, that dude is gone. Found him. Oh god. You got this. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Oh, nice. We got loot from him. Yo, my first kill. Let's get it. Oh, my God. Bro, I don't even think I was breathing during that entire fight. Oh, my God. Yo, I guarantee he's going to come back over here. He has to come back over here. It seems like he's trying to do a quest, which kind of sucks for him. I feel bad, but... I mean, we all, we've all been there, I'm pretty sure. That's just something you gotta deal with if you decide to play this game. <laughs> he might come back. So I'm gonna try and just camp this out. I'm gonna wait for a little while, and if he doesn't show up, I'm just gonna head over to this fort. There might be some people. Oh. I heard someone yell. Oh, he came back, he came back. Oh, perfect timing. He's attacking someone. He's attacking an NPC. I gotta go now. Got him. No ways I missed. Got you. Nope. Oh no, I missed. Oh, that was so close. Oh, man, that was so close. Dang it. Bro, I had him on like zero HP, and then I don't know how he got away from that, but okay. All right, then. This guy's probably so fed up right now, <laughs> but he just got payback, so I mean, it's not too bad. I died right there. Should I go back for him? Oh, man, I feel like I should go back for him. All right, we're going to try and go for him one last time. It's one and one right now. I need to be at least one over him. <laughs> At least one over him, then I'll move on. I think what I'll try to do is I'm going to head to first light now. There's this fort right here that is currently controlled by the Covenant. I'm going to see if I can take this over solo by myself. I don't even know if that's possible, but there might also be people here. So the only downfall to doing this is if there's no one here, it's going to cost me 196 Azoth all for nothing. But I can get that back by just doing dead man. So I'm going to do it. Okay. I don't see anyone. That's good. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Alright, I have to set up camp. Maybe like behind this. So people don't know my spawn. If there are any people here anyways. Alright, here we go. I've never done this before. I have no idea what to do. I'm pretty sure you need siege machines to even do anything. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I just enter it. 
Is it that simple? Claim the control point? Holy smokes, this is gonna take forever. Yeah, this is gonna take, this is gonna take years. But you know what, I'm gonna do it anyways. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm pretty sure they get a notification that their fort is being taken over. So maybe someone will pop up over here and we can get a fight in. Oh, shoot, there you go. Notification right there. It's under attack. It's under attack by literally one person. <laughs> Bruh. This is gonna be bad if anyone decides to show up. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I'm halfway there. Let's go. <laughs> I'm being so dumb right now. I'm just trying to trigger someone so they come over here and fight me. All right, there you go. It is officially controlled by Syndicate. I just did that solo. Nobody came for me. Definitely not what I was expecting, but sure. All right, so we're gonna ditch this place since no one decided to show up. I'm gonna try and camp outside of Brightwood. Maybe there's like some people just walking around or just like collecting resources. Oh, I heard a shot. That might possibly be enemy. Let's find out. Oh! Wait, is that the same dude we were fighting from before? Oh my god, I'm lagging so bad. Oh my god, dude, it's lag. It is the same guy. Oh my god, dude. Dude, that lag. Oh my gosh. It's the same exact dude. What are the odds of that? Okay. Well then, I don't know why it's lagging so bad right now. Jeez. Okay, we need to get out of here, maybe. So I'm back in Everfall. I'm gonna make my way towards Brightwood in this little cemetery place again. The population of this server is actually really low right now. It's currently 3 o'clock in the morning, so there's not too many people playing. Oh my god, look at that. It's the same dude. Hold up. Guys, I keep fighting this guy. I messed that up so bad. Oh, I forgot to set up camp. Oh my god. We literally died from the same guy again. Yo, he's been over here for the past almost two hours at this point. Hour and a half. Oh, he's getting... I hear him. He's getting attacked. I hear him yelling. Oh shoot, he's hurt bad. <laughs> Bro, why is it always lag when I fight this dude? Bro, it's always so laggy. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. 
Oh, let's go. Yo, I got the jump on him though. And he was like extremely low. He had to eat. All right, so axe and spear appear to be a little bit better. Nice. I'm gonna get a point for my spear. What am I gonna put that for? I probably want vault kick, definitely. But for now, I think I will go with. I'll go with piercing strikes. I do need more DPS. All right, he's for sure coming back. So we're gonna chill right here. Oh shoot! Oh, thank you, ghost. I killed it. Retreat a little bit. I need to switch my weapon. This life staff is not it. Dang it though, I lost him. Alright. Where did you go, sir? Alright, yeah, he is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Dang it, I lost him. Oh well. All right, well, I'm gonna have to wrap up the video right here, guys. Definitely have to try again during the daytime when people are actually playing. This was a struggle to find people PvP flagged at like three o'clock in the morning. So, but so far from my first experience with PvP, I mean, with actual PvP, that was pretty fun. But yeah, stay tuned for another video. Definitely gonna make more New World content for sure. So keep an eye out for that. But other than that, if you even made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I'll definitely be seeing you guys in another one. Peace out.